Okay, so I went ahead and finished off my face. Um, wait, I have something on my lip, y'all. Baby, I, I want this. I want this to last forever. Hey, girl, hey, it's Brittany Chanel back with the first sit down talk to you video of 2022. But I don't think we're going to do that much talking um, because I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So I'm going to be trying out, you guessed it, just like everyone else here on YouTube, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Ew, ew. Get into it. Come on, camera. Hide my face so they could get into it. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging. Y'all, I normally am a Cadiz type of girl, but with that NARS soft matte, and I got Cadiz, I was like three shades too light. So I said, I want to go ahead and go up a shade, and I got the shade Car 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 Caracas? Caracas? C A R A. C-A-S, y'all. I can't even read on today. This, anyway, I'm sure you guys already know this, but I'm going to just go ahead and run down the deets. This foundation claims to be breathable, medium coverage, buildable foundation, quickly conceals, visible redness, blemishes, and dark spots while blurring the look of wrinkles, pores, and texture. Powered by 70% skincare ingredients. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. For, visib <laughs> for visibly improved clarity plus light reflecting complex for enhanced luminosity. The up-to-date... Wait, the up to all day wear formula is suitable for most skin types, including sensitive. Okay, so I typically have combo skin. Like, I could go either way. It's not a big deal for me. I mean, I, I really could do either one. But we're just going to try it. Like I said, I did get... Y'all, how y'all pronounce this? Comment down below. Phonetically. Tell me how to pronounce this phonetically if y'all my friends in real life. Go ahead and let your girl know. I'm confused. Love that it has a pump. I wasn't a fan of the sheer go just because it did not have a pump. Y'all, I'm that itch. Like, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to pour it on my little tray. And I don't want to do that. So, very pleased that it has a pump. I'm going to just pump this right onto my face. And hopefully this shade works because I only bought one. Y'all need to tell. Hey, it's not coming out. Y'all need to tell NARS. Okay, it looks like it's going to be okay to go ahead and spawn to me. Like I said, I normally wear Cadiz in the sheer glow and in the um, radiant longwear. Now, in that soft matte, it was a no. And this supposed to be medium coverage, y'all. I don't like medium coverage, but it says buildable. It doesn't have any type of scent or anything that I can smell. I did see some other reviews online where they were saying it smelled kind of wonky, but it smells fine to me. Well, it's definitely medium coverage, y'all. Woo, child, I'm going to have to put a lot on. Y'all know. Mm -mm, I like a lot of foundation, but it's not too bad. I could definitely see it being buildable. Like, it's very lightweight, so I could put some more on this, like, no problem and be fine. So, that's all that matters. As long as I can lather it on there, sis, we're good. It's very, very thin, very lightweight. It is giving me a little bit of tingling, which I don't typically have with NARS foundation, so I'm a little shocked by that. I'm going to put a bit more on my forehead on this side because i didn't have enough of that side this time i'm gonna pump it up to the pump it on the brush so i could be more hygienic Ew. anyway why did i just stick my tongue out at y'all pray for me so what's been going up with y'all in 20 what's been going on with y'all in 2022 like what's been going on comment down below the most new and exciting thing for you y'all is it already it's already february and this is the first time i sat down to talk to y'all okay anyway i'm gonna go ahead and just put it on over Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all want to see this. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face like I normally would. And then maybe we'll come back to see the eyes. I am going to do a wear test and everything. So this ain't quite the end of the video yet. So far, so good. Um, I don't know about it covering my blemishes. Y'all know I have moles now. Y'all know I like to hide them. And I don't think it's giving me that. I think you can see all of my moles, every one of them. Mm, even a blackhead that I have right here, I'm seeing it poking through. All of this little, these black kids I have down here. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm a floral coverage type of bitch. I mean, sis, I shouldn't be cursing on the internet. But... Okay, friends, so I went ahead and got myself together a little bit, you know, real quick, like, because I'm filming this video on my lunch break and I don't want to take too long. Um, I did set my face, everything. All we have to do is some eyes and some highlighter. We're going to do something very quick. So we're going to use the um, the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. If you're here, I'm sure you know of her. Boom, boom. This is what she looks like. We're being very neutral because the focus today. Why did I do okay. that? So I'm back. Yeah, I'm going to do something real, real quick. Um, I think I'm going to take 
This is like my go-to type of situation, except I normally use the Jackie Aina palette, but y'all should be used to be doing my go-to, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Cypress Umber right here. That is not how you pronounce it, Lord. We're gonna use this one. And the camera's still looking at me. This deep brown right here. Here, I'm taking the lightest touch because like I said, the eyes are not really the focus today. Then I'm gonna go in to Raw Sienna which is right here, Raw Sienna next. Just to blend this out. I'm using the same brush, that's how, that's how much, but we're not focusing on the eyes today, okay? We're gonna give the girls what they want and then move on. Just, and, the, and you know, these shadows blend out buttery smooth, so it's not a big thing. Then I'm gonna go back into the deep brown because I felt like that one wasn't that blended on this side, so I'm gonna go blend in that deeper brown some more. And a little bit over here too. And then we'll go back. Lightest touch, lightest touch. Do y'all see it like, <laughs> like floating up or I cannot only see that? Can y'all not see that? Does that not translate on camera? Vermeer? Or Primavera. Vermeer, I feel like it's more tame. So let, let's go on with that. That's not tame at all. But ABH said, don't play with your girl. ABH said, don't play with us. Nope, they said, don't play with us. That is not tame at all. But that's okay. I did this in real time. And I'm going to leave the whole video here so y'all can see literally how long it took me to do this look. And we're not doing like big falsies or anything we're not doing eyeliner we literally are keeping it so simple right now keeping it simple sis it's the name of this game not the name of this game but i do think i need a little bit more of the shimmer right here just right there because i felt like it was missing some of that um shim shim what the hell is a shim shim Brittany? I hope y'all don't be judging me. Then going back into that deeper brown and then just blending it because I don't want it to look like a cut crease or anything. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and pop on the falsies, give y'all my first initial thoughts, and then we'll get into this wear test. Ow. Okay. So I went ahead and finished off my face. Um, Wait, I have something on my lip, y'all. Oop. I had a little feather on my lip. Um, I went ahead and finished off my face with the stuff that I would normally use. And I got to say so far, I'm not a fan. I feel like it is medium coverage and I didn't want to do too much. So I didn't go in with more because I wanted to give it a wear test, you know, how it's meant to be used. But I feel like you can see everything. Well, you guys may not, but up close and in person, I feel like you can see literally. Let me get my mirror. I feel like, especially down here where I do have like a, like a few little bumps that are like blackheads. You can see all my moles for sure. Um, so I'm of a full coverage kind of girl. Like I said, I could have put it on more to make it more full coverage because it does say medium to bootable full coverage, but I wanted to give it a wear test of what it is. And I also feel like I'm going to be oily. Um, and I didn't want to, I sprayed a dewy setting spray only because I didn't want to mattify it. <laughs> you guys know I'm a matte kind of girl. So we're gonna see it is 128. Ooh, I had this on for an hour, y'all. I've been dilly dallying doing other stuff. Uh, so I will check back intermittently throughout the day and we will see how this thing holds up. I am not feeling optimistic. Um, so we'll see, see you in a bit. Okay, two hour check in here. Um, I did go ahead and switch to my Sony camera only because I was doing some TikTok dances and I was vlogging. The dances were pretty strenuous, but I think it came out, it's still looking okay. I got a little sweat coming through. I got a little light coming through, but that's the point of the foundation. So yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Yeah. Okay, so four hours later, giving you guys some natural lighting. Ooh, I'm in on my Sony, also on a different camera. Well, I don't know, I may have already done one of these check-ins where I was using the Sony. So the colors could be a little bit different, but it's okay. Um, four hours later, doing pretty good. I'm not as oily, nearly as oily as I thought I would be. Um, so yeah, we'll keep on vibing out. Time for a six hour check-in. Um, I'm just getting in close so y'all can see. I am getting a little more oily. Um, the lighting, let me turn on this light. Maybe this will help. The lighting is not great. 
because I'm in the car. The sun is going down. But I think we're doing okay for six hours. I'm very much oily. Like, and I'm not blotting. You see the little oil build up right here? Mm-hmm. Getting a little bit of separation. Yeah. But I'll be back. And you know, they say that this is 24 hour wearable. Now it does look good from like far away. But up close, baby. You can see everything. Oh, and it's a lot of stuff going on right here. Okay, everyone. So it is what my watch is even at. It's been a long day. It's 8.43, so we've been wearing this makeup for, I can't do math, 8 hours and 13 minutes. And as y'all can see, the wig came off throughout the day. Um, well, I just took it off actually on the drive or on the ride home. I just walked in my house. What do y'all think? I have not blotted. As far as that, I will say, I thought I would be a lot oilier. So for eight hours, for me not to have blotted, I think, mwah, chef, chef's kiss. Now, I do have quite a bit of separation. Um, yeah, I have quite a bit of separation. I was just getting a mirror. I still don't like that I can see my bumps. I would have to definitely go in and make it full coverage. Um, just because I'm a full coverage type of chick. Sorry, y'all. My hair is bothering me. That's really the only way I could see it working for me personally. Let's blot it and see if we come back looking like, you know, the bad bitch we were at the beginning. I mean, and it already is looking much, much better. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it again, just making it more full coverage. As of right now, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it didn't look bad. Like, it didn't look bad. It looked perfectly fine. Is it to the standard, like if I would say my NARS went in long wear? No, or even the soft matte? No, but it's just one, like, medium coverage is not my shush. So I'm gonna try again. As of right now, final recommendation, seven out of 10. All right, let me know what you guys would like to see next. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. All that jazz, ja, ja, ja. Y'all, I'm looking kind of cute, even though this is my tired, exhausted face. I'm getting cute, real nice. Bye. Someone like you, find someone like you. Yeah, 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 I've been waiting my whole life to find someone like you find someone